Why when a black man creates a robot, they need uh, NYPD, federal, they need naval forces and marines and the army to check out the bot because it may, they say that it poses a danger it could be, as if it could be used as a weapon. But when a Caucasian creates a robot, it's considered as a fashionable thing that it will increase and better your life and lifestyle and living situation. Okay. My name is Jim. Here is my bot of applying the coin batteries onto the set. This is the way it turns on axis. This is the upper body. And uh, it tilt. This could roll. It can also pan right here. And it can roll for the arms, upper body. Pan to rear. It can also tilt forward without tilting the legs. Pan to the to the right. Neck is right here. I'm gonna have the head on here to turn the, the legs can crouch together as far as uh horse the feet can also the feet for the robot it's a tall area for gripping so it don't have to have one stabilizer flat bottom just two and uh level over over rocks that has curved parts to it so therefore and the pan for self balancing right here at the lower bottom. And the tip of 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 the split of the legs. of the tip of the legs. the tip of the legs. the legs. Across the legs. Over like this. the upper body and the same uh, density these are 60 kilogram uh, servo motors and I have PC uh, I have red boards local couple to it and coin batteries I'm going to apply the flat bar buses so I cut the phase wires of the servo short so I connect it directly through and use them for individual synchronous wireless power signal I mean wireless um, signals and also wired signals so DC and AC at the same time I'm gonna be using synchronous mm -hmm. induction coils to transfer the signal mm -hmm. and LEDs IR signals too for the servos. So we're using conduction coils, conduction coils to synchronize the LED charger back to the full batteries that And uh, I'm still working on it, you know. I'm just working on it. Okay, so the other part there I add is I'm gonna add micro video cam cameras and uh, distant measuring lasers. These are going to be uh, measuring lasers and cameras localized along the foot and a uh, distance laser from here to here. And I'm also going to add a laser under here and a, P a transducer under here under the body for vertical, for actually a downward vertical pitch circuit balance it to control the walker. I'm going to add a load of piezo sensors, piezo buzzers all over it for tactile sensory. I'm also going to apply a silver wafer and connect the silver wafer to the piezo, but to the coupled with the piezo buzzer. And I'm also going to apply a magnet. I'm going to use that with a thermometer temperature sensor. And I'm gonna wrap it with a foil. I'm also gonna operate it as a transducer. I do have foil that I'm using to synchronize the the uh, permanent magnet. I mean the nickel uh, coin batteries actually with the coin battery rechargeable, synchronous recharge. I am going to apply a cover or coating over it of latex rubber, and I'm gonna apply a uh, magnetic uh, magnet powder within it and conduct the fluid within it so I can uh, make create the latex conductive mask. I'm also gonna use the latex as a mouser for touch sensors to mouse it. And I'm going to apply PIR sensors localized right here, which is gonna be light. Uh, Laser eye diode, passive light laser diodes. They're gonna be all around the system, localized on the edge, focus full on all four sides, so four sides square. And for for preventing deformation of the of the latex rubber for sensors, uh, touch sensors, and uh, just to react like a display hologram rubber. And um, uh, which is gonna be actually a trans legit rubber, stunning for latex. I might make sure with other colors and stuff like that. But um, the following should be a polymer person. The following I'm going to add. Once the distance sensors, the PIR sensors, their magneto human Doppler sensors, and the transducers. And once I apply all that, then I'll connect. I'm going to be busing these wires together by flat bars connected to the bus to the uh, grid boards. And stuff. I have melted here. I'm going to apply a little bit more grid boards. It's going to be connected to a little bit more modulus. It's going to have a memory card and piezos. A lot of piezos are reactive circuit as uh, nerves for the system and to transfer the electrical energy switch. Actually, um, 
and record the hertz and activities of the servo. I also gonna add distance here for the handset light sensors for approximately the basic reset control. A lot of gyroscopic sensors, gyroscopic sensors modulate each one to control each area, specific areas that have pitch and tilt on an axis, X, Y, Z. Three different types of, uh, actually, three different types of gyroscopes. Um, uh, MCU chips, PCB boards. So, um, in sets and series, in the chain, along with these pulley, solar cables, rubber, and I'm gonna be using the magnetic rubber, actually using permanent magnetic powder mixed with, uh, mixed with uh, con uh, conductor fluid, and I'm gonna mold uh, out of the uh, rubber latex uh, masking and casting stuff. I'm gonna roll like um, muscle spindles, and I'm gonna use it as a cylindrical, so I'm gonna make a block one, and I'll make a hole in it as a rectangle, and allow the rubber band of uh, the latex to slide through it like a solenoid. So I'm gonna rub a solenoid coil to react its muscle spindles, and it's gonna be connected to the servo motors to reset it back on into its uh, state, uh, tensile state. Uh, reduction actually, reduction of 10 city stand. So I'm just going to return back to this from my set. Um, I am going to add gears to it so I can allow it to set up on it alongside the exterior local to the crank of the arm. So one gear here and one gear standing out here to allow it to move other different mechanical parts localized within that area. And that's going to assist in the sensors of the location of the servo. Um, I know that it has it inside and it can also detect it usually because these are digital circuits. And um, I guess what I'm going to add to it. So uh, my name is Raymond Wanker. Bye. So in addition to the biaxial part, I mean, the, I have it roll right here. I have it uh, tilt right here. It's actually pan axis and I have roll. And then I have pan on axis right here. I have tilt. I have, um, how can I say pitch right here for the rear end side to side and the neck for the turn. And the pitch, this is pitch on axis, left to right. This is uh, tilt, and this is pan for the waist. And for here, I have the same as a similar to roll for the walking and to uh, uh, actually, which is this, it should be pan, I mean actually tilt and pan, tilt, and pitch on axis, and tilt and tilt for the feet and for the uh, self-balancing. So I'm gonna apply joints here, connect it to the central, put the way the joints, anti-shock joints for our C's and enable it to rear and to guide this board right here on my ass. Require another motor here, apply another motor here so I can allow it to roll the uh, belt gear. Even though I'm going to have the joints there localized there, so I'm just going to apply it anyway um, for extra strength and stabilization, actually. Um, so, not finished with the robot, I still got more to go. My name is Jermaine Moore, and goodbye. Yeah. So what I did was I added batteries, um, circuit to the unit, the composites for the three volt um, coin batteries. And I'm adding them to each one of the servos individually. I add the upper body of the servos and I applied some, some uh, hold, glue hold, heavy duty glue hold, and that's a resin from epoxy. And I'm going to add another couple point to it to try to solidate it within the system. Um, the arms I'm going to apply, the neck part I applied, the waist part I applied, still more mechanical parts for the neck and the hand.